What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best upgrade for your handheld gaming PC. Be it the Steam Deck LCD, Steam Deck OLED, ROG Ally, or even the MSI Claw. Because today we're going to be taking a look at the new WD Black SN770M NVMe SSD. This is a 2230 sized M.2 SSD and I just happen to have a 2TB model to upgrade one of my handhelds here. And this is a PCIe 4.0 NVMe drive. It's super fast, but the other upgrade we've got here is just more storage. So we can install more games, more applications. We don't have to delete stuff to get more games installed. And we also don't have to worry about slow SD card speeds because with this, we've got a lot more storage. So yeah, this is perfect for any device that supports a 2230 M.2 SSD. And this will do up to 5,150 megabytes per second. And that's sequential read. So it's definitely a really quick drive and we will be running some benchmarks by the end, but we're going to be installing this in my special edition Steam Deck OLED. It's already got a one terabyte drive in it, but you know, adding an extra terabyte is really going to help out. Got a lot of Steam games and I just kind of want to load this thing down so I don't have to flop and swap and I'm not really keen on slower SD card speeds. But in order to get this installed, there are a few things you're going to need. Obviously, you'll need a device that supports one of these drives, but uh, we've got that WD Black 2 terabyte model, and they do offer this with 500 gigabytes of storage, one terabyte or two terabytes, and I kind of wanted to get the most out of the Steam Deck. And since this WD Black M.2 SSD doesn't have an operating system on it, we're going to need a way to kind of re-image it or reinstall SteamOS on it. I suggest picking up one of these little USB drives. This one just happens to have full-size USB on one end, USB Type-C on the other, just makes it really easy so we don't need any adapters. And in order to get the Steam Deck image on the USB drive, you can actually do it directly from the Steam Deck itself in desktop mode. But if you don't want to go that route, you can always do it from a Windows PC, a Mac machine, or even another Linux laptop or desktop. There's an application to get it installed no matter what operating system you're running. If you want to do it from the Steam Deck, you can go directly to desktop mode, follow the instructions over on Valve's website. But for this one, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough. And before we do anything else, let's make sure we can get this USB drive working correctly so we can reinstall SteamOS on the brand new NVMe drive. Now it's time to flash our recovery image to the USB drive, and I'll leave links for everything in the description. Valve does have a really nice walkthrough over on their website. This can be done in basically any operating system, Windows, Mac, or even on the Steam Deck itself from desktop mode. For Windows, they do recommend using Rufus, but I've been able to use Etcher on Windows also with no issues. So in my experience, it really doesn't matter. We can just use Etcher for all of this. But the first thing we need to do is download the Steam Deck recovery image. So we're going to download the image right here. Now that we've got the image downloading, let's go ahead and get Etcher, download, and depending on your operating system, you can download the version you need. Once our recovery image and Etcher are finished downloading, we'll just go ahead and launch Etcher. And from Etcher, we're going to choose Flash from File. We're going to find our Steam Deck recovery image. Next, we need to select our target, and this is going to be our USB drive that we're flashing the recovery image to. Right here, select, flash, and we'll just let Etcher do its thing. It'll finish up, it'll verify the file system for us, and then once this is done, we can move back over to the Steam Deck and get this operating system installed on that new 2TB SSD. Again, we're going to be using the WD Black SN770M, and uh, we've got that 2 terabyte model. Basically, all you're going to get is a little user manual, a little bit of warranty information, and we've also got the drive itself. Really easy to get out of the packaging, and as you can see, it's a very small NVMe SSD because it's a 2230 size, perfect for the Steam Deck, ROG Ally, or MSI Claw. Now it's time to install the SSD. We've got our SteamOS Recovery USB ready to go. First thing we want to do is shut down the Steam Deck, make sure it's completely off. And for the OLED Special Edition, the screws in the rear are actually T6 torque bits. I'm not sure if the regular OLED model still uses Philip head screws, but I know the original Steam Deck did, the ROG Ally does, and I know for a fact that the MSI Claw just uses a regular Philips head. But for this, I did need that T6 torque bit. We've got eight in the rear that need to be removed. Now that we've got the eight screws out of the rear, I suggest using something like a little spudger to go ahead and pry the back half of the shell off. 
It's pretty easy on the Steam Deck, and if you don't have a spudger, you can always put a little force over here. Pops off pretty easily, but uh, having one of these little plastic tools comes in handy so you don't scratch everything up. But yeah, it should come off with relatively little force with one of these. Lots of clips all the way around. And once we're kind of sure we've got most of them out of there, we can actually just put a little bit of force on it and it should come right off. And if you don't have the special edition version, it'll look a little different. But yeah, I personally love these orange accents. It looks really good. But now that we've got the back shell off, it's time to get to the SSD. We've got this cover here over the APU and the Steam Deck, and there's two T6 torque bits here, at least with the OLED version. We need to go ahead and get both of those out so we can remove this heat shield. And I suggest with this unit here, go ahead and unplug this left ribbon cable. It's just gonna make it easier to get that heat shield off. A little bit of adhesive, don't have to put much force on it, and it'll go right back into place. You're not gonna destroy anything here. Now we need to remove the two T6 torque bits, and uh, one's right here at the bottom left of the heat shield, the other one's at the top left. Really can't miss them, but once we have those out, we can actually remove the black heat shield. And right underneath it, we have our 2230 M.2 SSD. Really easy to upgrade, actually. In total, there's 10 screws that need to be removed to get to it. Then we'll have to use that last screw there on the 2230 M.2 SSD to remove it. It also has a little heat shield over it. This will slide right off so we can put it on the brand new WD black drive. But I've got a one terabyte version of the OLED Steam Deck. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade to that two terabyte WD black SN770M. This is going to allow me to double the storage in my Steam Deck right now. And since having the Steam Deck from the original LCD up to the OLED, my Steam library has gotten quite large. Even that one terabyte really wasn't enough for me with all of the games that I have. So having that extra terabyte of storage is going to come in really, really handy. We'll put the heat shield from the old M.2 SSD on the new WD Black. We can go ahead and reinstall everything. And I'll tell you, when you're putting the back cover back on, Make sure all of the sides, just go ahead and inspect it. It will need to snap back down before you put any of the screws in. So we're almost done here with that WD black installation, but now we need to install the operating system on that new drive. So we went ahead and flashed our USB drive. We're going to plug it into the Steam Deck. We're going to power this up, but what we're going to do is hold the volume up button, press power, and this is going to bring us into the BIOS. Once we get into the BIOS, we can use the face buttons on the Steam Deck to navigate. We're going to move over to our boot menu, and we want to boot from that new USB drive. Boot menu is this one right here. We'll press A. It's going to give us a list of all the drives. We want to use the USB drive, so we'll press A. And this is going to bring us into the recovery mode, so we can re-image that brand new WD Black NVMe SSD. Give it a few seconds to boot into it. Once we're in here, we're going to use our trackpads to navigate, and you'll see a few options. Since we've got a brand new drive, we want to re-image that drive. So we're going to choose the second option here. We will have to agree. And this actually doesn't take that long. It's about a four minute process. But uh, once it's finished, it will prompt us and we'll have to reboot. Now we've got a fresh installation of SteamOS on the Steam Deck, a much larger, much faster drive. And of course, you will have to go through the setup process, sign in with your Steam account. Once that's done, we're actually good to go. I've already installed a bunch of games here on this new WD Black SN770M. And yeah, I mean, it's been working really great. Now, the last thing I want to show you here is the speed of this WD Black drive versus the stock one terabyte drive that came in this special edition OLED Steam Deck. And to test the new speed of this WD Black SSD against the uh, stock SSD that came in this unit, we're going to be using an application known as KDiskMark. You can get it from Discover. Very easy to install. We'll go ahead and launch it. And we're going to run this. We're going to see how fast this new SSD is. I can already tell you right now, it is a lot faster than that one terabyte drive that came in the Steam Deck OLED. I'll go ahead and let this finish up. Do a little bit of a comparison here. All right, so on the left, we've got that stock one terabyte Steam Deck OLED SSD. 
Not too bad, actually a lot faster than the older SSDs. But over on the right hand side, we've got that two terabyte WD Black SN770M NVMe SSD. And as you can see from the read, we do have a nice little bump in performance there. But what's really increased here is the write speeds with this new drive. Now, one of the main things that I was looking for was more storage, but having faster storage never hurts anything. And yeah, this WD Black is much faster than the stock one terabyte OLED SSD. Overall, really happy with the performance of this WD Black NVMe SSD. Remember, this is that 2230 size, so it will work in the ROG Ally, Steam Deck, MSI Claw, and there are other handhelds out there that use this smaller NVMe SSD. So if you do have one of these devices that supports that 2230, I can definitely recommend the WD Black SN770M NVMe SSD. Really great device here, up to two terabytes with this smaller drive. I need to pick up a couple more because I do want to upgrade my ROG Ally and my new MSI Claw. If you want to learn a little more, maybe pick one of these up. I'll leave some links down below. That's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.